Hi, my name is Domenico D'Alisa. I'm a 3D freelance artist. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a character like this, as you can see in the file scene. We are in Blender and uh, we start the render. This is the final scene. And uh, as you can see, apart from the character, it's a really, really simple scene. Let's get started. So this is the base scene. We are going to use Blender, ZBrush, Substance Painter and Marvelous Designer. Everything starts with a base mannequin. I've already made it in uh, ZBrush, but you can use uh, every software you want. And uh, another thing is uh, I going to use uh, some already made by me uh, heels because heels are very hard to do in uh, Marvelous Designer. As you can see, the mesh is really, really simple and uh, have just two modifier, a multi-resolution multi and a mirror. So we are going to export uh, the mannequin first and uh, we are going to jump in uh, Marvelous Designer. Export, I usually export in OBJ or FBX. Desktop, mannequin, export OBJ. Now we jump in Marvelous Designer. So we are in Marvelous Designer. We're going to import the uh, mannequin, import OBJ, desktop, mannequin, open, uh, deactivate this. And for the scale, I usually uh, use auto scale. Okay. Here the, the character, uh, important thing for this character or uh, any character with uh, high yields is that uh, the character is not direct, directly on uh, the floor. Uh, the base of all the, uh, the fabric of the, the clothing of the, of the character is a really tight suit. Uh, we are going to use the free polygon. And we start from the center of the mannequin, shift. So we are sure we are in the center of the mannequin. And we are going to roughly follow the mannequin shape. Okay, we are going to smooth some verticals, convert to curve point. Now to have a um, completely symmetrical uh, part, we're going to right click and unfold. Now we have uh, the uh, very basic part for the suite. We're going to control C, control B. We're going to copy and paste and we rotate. So we are sure the normal direction is, uh, is right. I'm going to place the, the, this part on the back of the character. And we are going to uh, sew the, the two parts with the free sewing. We check the sewing, it's all okay. And if everything is all right, we are going to click space and start the simulation. As you can see, we have a really, really tight suit, but it's, uh, it's the, the base. We are going to add uh, all the details later. Usually a tricky part for me in Marvelous Designer are gloves. Uh, I usually try to reuse the, the, the same shape uh, I find online, but uh, for the lesson, here a quick tip. You can create a rectangle big enough for, uh, for one end. And uh, uh, I already created a, a material, we call it texture. And we are going to assign to this plane. And in uh, this material, we are going to add a 2D pattern. You can find uh, some online. This uh, is a screen from uh, my pre previous file and uh, you can uh, change the UV here. You click on the plane, scale it roughly 
as big as the end. And uh, we are going to trace it with the internal polygon line. Now that we have uh, an internal line, we click, right click, and close it as pattern and assign the same fabric as the as the suit and we can we can delete this and place this on the end Now we simply copy and mirror paste and with the free sewing tool we are going to see the two parts. In this case you can see the sewing is crossed, we simply add sewing, right click, reverse sewing. Before starting the simulation, I suggest to change the particle distance to 5 for both the, the, the gloves part because uh, these are uh, really, really detailed and uh, little part and uh, we try a simulation. Another thing that can be useful is uh, adjust the, the thickness here. I try to use zero. At the end, I usually have this little uh, pointy thing that uh, I, I adjust later in uh, the brush, but you can uh, always adjust the, the pattern here. Um, I prefer to sculpt it in the brush later. As I mentioned before, another tricky part for me in Marvelous Designer are heels and shoes. I have imported the other mesh I showed before in Blender and you can uh, move it and scale it clicking this, uh, this uh, little icon. And uh, I show you my method for the, the sole. I move it just and rotate just to 90 degrees in order to have it face it in the 2D, fa 2D window. And uh, we are going to trace it with the polygon, free polygon. We are going to decrease the particle distance to 5 and uh, I have already created the full green later. It's a really hard material uh, as you can see in the present here, it's already here and we are going to assign it to the yields. We can even change the color just to separate from the other materials and uh, we can delete this. We are going to place it under the, the, the foot. Right click, strengthen, and uh, we are going to add a uh, negative pressure and see if it uh, is work. No, in this case, we are going to apply a positive pressure. And as you can see, the, 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 the pattern are following the, 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 the shape of the foot. Now to continue with the shoe, we are going to freeze it. And I suggest to deactivate the upper part, deactivate pattern in sewing. And with the shift Q, you can hide and show pattern. And uh, we are going to trace the part or oh, this part of the, fo the foot with line avatar. 
and to create the, 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 the part, we are going to select flatten. When it's blue, click and press enter. Now you have another part and we are going to change the shape to follow the, this part of the yield. We are going to sew these two parts with the, the free sewing tool and you have the point of the shoe. We are going to do the same thing for the lateral part of the, of the foot. We start from the center. We are going to copy and mirror paste. And we are going to sew these two parts to the sole. The important thing is that the sole remain freezed and uh, as you can see we, are, we have the uh, really basic shape, seems like a sock but uh, it's a, a good start for uh, create a, a shoe. Last little tip I want to show you before sta start with a more complex scene in Marvelous Designer since I want to create a really small tutorial is how to create a veil for the head. It's really simple. We're going to create a rectangle and we hold shift in order to create not a rectangle but a code and assign the, the first fabric. Just delete when one point and you have a triangle. I'm going to double click, be sure this are orange, you can scale it all, all together. You are going to place on the head. Now just to give it a, a shape on the head, we are going to split, uniform split with three. So we have these two points, we are going to create a dart. and simulate. With the simulation active, you can uh, click uh, W and uh, create a pin, so you can uh, move it around uh, a specific part. Another thing, uh, we are going to change the layer of this to one, because it's upper the, the suite. And last thing, if you if you want to pose it better on the avatar, you can click here, tuck on avatar, select this and a point on the avatar. Same for the other side, simulate. And as you can see, we have a very simple veil for the head. In order to speed up the tutorial, I'm going to show you the final result. We are in quality render, but uh, you can see the, 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 the base mesh. Yeah. We have the, the wheel we have created before. I've just adjusted the shape of the, the shoes in, uh, in order to create a boot. The shape of the, of the suit is the same. I've just added a, a central part that's a transparent uh, latex. Uh, I have created each material for each part, but uh, it's a really simple, really simple process. And I have uh, changed the, the layer for each part that stuck up on the other. Another thing I want to show you is the shoulder pads. As you can see, I've added a uh, balaclava to hide in order to hide the face and uh, I've created this jacket, this uh, really simple jacket. 
but uh, uh, if we hide this part you can see i have these these are shoulder parts these shoulder parts are really simple the only thing that uh, change is uh, here the um, thickness as you can see each part uh, have a different thickness 10 6 4 and 3 but uh, uh, you can hide it in uh, in uh, rendering make it uh, a layer uh, 0 in order to be under the jacket and as you can see we have a better shape on the shoulder the glove are the same I've added just these uh, two veils that uh, are hang up to, to these, uh, these belts but uh, it's, it's a really simple uh, object nothing, nothing fancy and the last thing uh, I want to show you is the this, uh, this part I've added to the base suit it's uh, just the, the same I've, uh, I've copy and paste and uh, stacked up and uh, the only thing that change is the, the layer and the uh, shrinkage as you can see here is change in order to create a bigger a bigger mesh another thing i want to show you is the the mesh it's quadrangulate uh, it's this part is uh, really really slow in uh, marvelous designer you can uh, change it simply right click and you can triangulate or quadrangulate the mesh we are going to use a quadrangulate mesh because uh, are going to help in uh, ZBrush for the subdivision and uh, we are going to export each part for, a, for an example these are going to be called jacket these are going to be called veil uh, etc uh, the only thing uh, i want to show you is uh, since we have uh, an already uh, quadrangulate shape uh, for uh, speed up the process of the retopology for uh, a complex part like, like the veil or, or the belt we are going to uh, select these parts and change the particle distance to 20 so we are going to have an already low poly mesh that we can uh, shrink up later in Blender. A last quick tip I want to show you for the export of each part is, uh, for example, if we want the, to export the veil, we are going to select all the part we want as a single mesh, file, export, I usually use OBJ, in this case obj selected and we are going to call it veil okay and uh, this pop up uh, i usually use single object weld fin and uh, since uh, the, the, the i have a custom scale in my blender scene we are going to use uh, instead of the 100 percent just the 10 percent OK and export. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next part, we are going to uh, jump in Blender and uh, then add uh, the cloth wrinkles uh, and details in the brush. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.